Ah, whoa, 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 oh, I gotta hear this. What's up? Yeah, but why are you racist? Why am I racist? No, why am I racist? You're racist. You're racist. How do you know? You're a racist. How am I racist? I don't know, I'm just saying it. <laughs> That's exactly. So why am I racist? That's a big call to call someone. I know, yeah, yeah. You gotta you got have evidence. Do you like Muslims? I love Muslims. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love Muslims. Oh, I, I got good mates who are Muslims. No, no, we do. Oh, the is like one of the nicest Christians you can find here. Sorry, me, no, no, he's American. No, no, he's like one of the nicest people you can find around. Australia? No. I like that. South Africa. Where are you guys from? Honestly, I'm from here, bro. Oh, from here. Nice. My country as well, you know. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. <laughs> I'm just asking. Because you asked him where he was from. So I'm like, alright, I'll ask you where you're from. And that's fair. That's cool. So why are you guys Muslims? Huh? Why are you guys Muslims? I assume you're Muslims. Yeah. I could be wrong. You are Muslims. It's the truth, mate. You think it's the truth? Okay, why do you think it's the truth? Why are you Christian? Because likewise, I think that Christ is truth and that Christ is God. Because the earliest historical accounts show that the earliest eyewitness testimony says that he was considered to be God. So for us, we just go with the historical approach. But as a Muslim, do you go with the historical approach if you want to know what Isa said? What is the earliest historical eyewitness account of Isa? You don't know that at the same time when, when Jesus was... Can you ask him my question? No, 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 wait. If you answer my question, Relax, I'll ask you a question. Talk, okay, you'll have to answer. No, 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 wait. Okay, so you're not going to answer. Okay. What do you mean? Um, if you let me answer, you let me answer. I asked you, and then you started saying something else, and I said, will you it's answer my question? And you went, no, 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 wait, wait. We're all human. We're all Okay, all right. Now you're explaining the, the answer to my question about how you know that Isa was a Muslim, for example, according to the earliest eyewitness testimony. So you let me talk now? Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. One second, you try Alright, cool. Did you know at the same time you say that the, uh, what's it called? The historical yeah. approach is that Jesus was crucified, but yeah, yeah. at the same time there was a group of people that believed he wasn't crucified. Yeah, the Docetists. Yeah, and well, Do you know why they didn't think Christ was crucified? Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, do you know why they this didn't think Christ was crucified? There were more than 500 people they there. think they, they thought he wasn't crucified because they thought he was God in every sense. In other words, he didn't have a physical okay. nature. You know why? You know what? Can I tell you why? That's, that's why they thought he wasn't crucified. Can I, can I tell you why? That's it's not... suspicious the Quran copies that idea. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? Interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah. One sec. Be quiet. Does, you... uh, does say be quiet. Oh, Come then on, let me talk then. He, Come he's, on, not, he's not your dimmy, bro. You can't, you can't say that, man. Quiet. I want to tell you. Right, have some respect. I'm being respectful. You're not letting me talk. It's, it's a dialogue, innit? You can't just say it, people. Are you involved, Johnson? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll be happy. No, you Focus. Can't talk to one person, innit? Alright, cool. In the Quran, it says, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it, it was made to seem like he was crucified. Oh, right. So that's that's why this was even a historical point. We have an answer for it. Because uh, it was made. Judas was crucified. Wait, but the Quran isn't a historical document for things in the first century. Yes, it is. Okay, the Bible. If you want to appeal corrects, to things that the are... Quran corrects the Bible in many places. Okay, like wait, it, wait, wait, wait. In the time wait, wait. of Joseph, mm. uh, in the Bible, it says that. Uh, what's it called? There was a pharaoh. But we know oh, that really uh, from the Rosetta Stone so that was discovered. Let me okay. talk. Yeah. From the Rosetta Stone that was discovered, we know that there was. A you see, that also disproves the Quran if you take it that way. Wait, wait, wait. Quran talks about a coin. A coin in incorrect let terms. Let me, point. let me finish my point. Well, no. The Rosetta Stone that was discovered, uh -huh. it proved that the Bible, there was no. that the Pharaoh dynasty didn't even exist at uh -huh. the time of Joseph. And it was actually a king. The, 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 yes. the, the, the Quran says, says that the, there was no Pharaoh, there was a king at the time of Joseph. Yeah, yeah. So but it corrects the Bible. Again, if you take that kind you of ideology, you see, we understand stop, this stop, stop. very easy. It's just no, a comp... You, you listen, just wait, 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 you, you talked, gave, and now we're answering. No, wait, wait. You, you, you really literally gave answer. your point. You said here, the Quran corrects an incorrect belief in the Bible. Yeah. The understanding at the time of Joseph, the pharaohs wouldn't have been known as pharaohs, they would have been known as kings. Yeah, that was your point. Now, Okay, exactly. Now let me, understand, let me try and explain this to you. We don't think that the Bible has to be taking something in a sense that it's meaning we are fully claiming that this is a pharaoh. Rather, they're using terminology that would have been understood at the time. Now, this same type no, of no, no, this no, wait, 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 wait. this wait, wait. this same type of language that's used in the Bible is also used in the Quran. Because as my friend here just pointed out, Should've there were coins. He even got the Quran verse. There were descriptions of coins that were not used at that period Called historically. Okay, okay, so your point is that in the Bible, the person at the time of Joseph was a king and not a pharaoh. 
We're saying that the reason for that is because it's a linguistic expression used to show the audience. Wait, 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 I'm answering a question. You said to be quiet when we ask questions, right? So the reason why is because it's a linguistic expression, because the people who are reading this at the time of Moses refer to the king of Egypt as a pharaoh. So it's just a linguistic expression which is used to familiarize the audience with what the reader says. It's not finished however, yet. however, you haven't gotten the point because we're going to say the whole point. However, if you say that an author cannot use linguistic expressions to do this, the problem you're going to have is that the Quran in Surah 12 about Yosef, Surah 12, Ayah 20, says that they traded dirham, which is coins which didn't exist at the time. So by your own standard, the Quran is making an error in that same passage. Okay, that's not true. But let me say one thing. What do you mean that's not true? Okay. Can I answer? Not true. Okay, can I answer at least? Go on then. Okay, you said that they're just using terminology just there. Why, why, if, if, that's, if that's the case here, why in the Bible do they use the terminology as king in many places? They refer to many people as kings at the time. Probably because the context about different people was different. No, what do you mean? He, if he was a king, the context that should be used is... The not all kings are pharaohs. Yeah, not but all kings not from pharaoh, different so why countries was the, are Because it was familiar to them in that time no, as someone who ruled Egypt as that point. Are you going to adjust the Surah 12? I wouldn't, I wouldn't call someone in, uh, I don't know, the king of Babylonian okay, as a pharaoh. How can something be familiar? We wouldn't use that term. How can something be familiar which has not even existed yet? There's no what do you mean by that? Okay, Bro, okay, the final wait, dynasty wait. didn't even exist at the time of Joseph, so how can they use... How can it wasn't they wrote by Joseph, it was, it was wrote by Moses, bro. Did but you not know can, that? No, but how can... Okay, who, who wrote Genesis? I don't know. You told me. Oh, well, they're, they're, a Muslim they're, doesn't know who wrote Genesis. I, listen, listen. Not good. Okay, okay according, who wrote Genesis? According to you. Do you not know who wrote the Torah? Who wrote the Torah according to you? Who wrote the Torah? According to us, they're good. According to us. <laughs> okay, if, if the Torah was revealed to who? Who was it revealed to? To, to Moses. Okay, good. So if Moses is the, well for us he's the author of the Torah, you just say it was revealed to him, right? If Moses authored the Torah, then Moses' audience is who it's talking to. But at the time of Moses, not Yosef, who was uh, years before Moses, at the time of Moses it was referred to as a pharaoh, hence it's a linguistic expression. Now you're yet to answer the question about Surah 12, Ayah 20, when it uses the currency dirham to describe the currency that Joseph was traded for. So if you're saying that you can't use linguistic expressions to familiarize yourself with an audience, then you've buried the Quran as well. You have not provided anything to show The same thing you're critiquing the Bible for is in your Quran. Read the Arabic here. <laughs> what, what's I don't the currency? I, can read it, but I don't understand. It. Okay, okay, you can read it. What's the currency? It says dirham, right? Yeah, okay, dirham. But listen, okay, listen. was dirham the historical it's, 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 currency at that time? No. Oh, exactly. No, but you're not. Listen, dirham, yeah, it's, 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 it's a way of uh, saying money. It's not. It's, it's, it's I do you know this, or do you like you make it up on the spot? It's wrong. It's a way of it's a way of saying money. So you know about this, then? Yes. Okay. okay but, but, but so what, you know what's the context of this then? Of that aisle. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell me, show, show me the point. I didn't memorize the, it's the same, bro, it, It's the same story we're talking about, the story no, of Joseph. You that's okay, why you, it's you're, you're jumping topics. Wait, wait, wait. So the, point, the, point, the point is, if you want to say dirham is a general expression for money in Muhammad's time that they can just use, you're saying a linguistic expression can be described in this way to the people to understand. That's what we're saying. But you're saying that ours is an invalid explanation, which invalidates your position as well. <laughs> what, on, what on earth is going on? No idea. Oh, is that Ali Dawa? It's Ali Dawa, yeah. <laughs> Go follow him for your content. I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to you talk with you guys. Fish to fry, yeah? You have bigger fish to fry, yeah? You have bigger fish to fry. Go, go, go. Tell, tell him to come in. Okay, so all, the whole point of this was the fact that if we want to know what Isa actually said, we go to the earliest accounts, there, right? Even at the first page of the Bible, there's contradictions, but you, you want to believe in The a Quran is just full of falsehoods. Oh, just check. Okay, okay. So I'm at I18. This is falsehood. It says that uh, a father doesn't discipline his children. What's the context? That's a, literally the, the context is that the Christians and Jews, the, the Christians yes, and Jews it. say that like God that. is their father. That's not possible because if God say was that, their father, that, he wouldn't discipline them because that, a father doesn't discipline the sons. That's Surah 5, yeah, I18. Saying that why God is not befitting of having sons. No, he's saying that the reason you can know that the Christian Jews are not sons of God is because if they were, God would discipline them. Show me the context. Oh, I don't know. This is Surah Al Maida, Ayah 18. That's a very strange verse. It's, yeah, and also <laughs> Hebrews 12 uh, destroys okay. it. But anyway, You're talking about but the Jews and the let Christians. Me, let, me, let, me read it. let me read it out loud. But the Jews and the Christians say, We are the children of Allah and His beloved. 
say, then why does he punish you for your sins? Rather, you are human beings from among those he has created. Exactly. In other words, that's, that's, a refutation of the fact that they call themselves no, sons no, of God no, 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 is because he punishes them. That's just the way. A real father it doesn't, doesn't discipline you, according to the Quran. You're, you're, you're not it, did he not say, that, say then, so this is Allah telling Muhammad to say in response, no, 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 no. then why does he punish you for your sins? Because Question they're, mark. They're, because they're transgressing. It's not talking about in a, in a literal So in other words, in other words, you can't have a father so if your father money. disciplines you. Because oh, that's, that's not, not what fathers what do. That's not all. That is literally that what it says. That's not what that is what it's saying. Really saying. Again, okay. I, I, We've I, read it multiple he, times. He, he, just read, he just read the verse. The verse is saying as a refutation to Christians. Yes. So this is a polemical verse. It's a polemical verse. It's saying Christians believe God is a father. But if God was a father to Christians, he wouldn't discipline them because fathers don't discipline yeah, people. Yes. But that's false. That's false. false. And we know that's false. Too. Fathers do discipline their children. In fact, you would be a terrible father if you didn't discipline your children. But God also says that so that is an evident falsehood in the Quran. That, I can get more. Do you want more? Five one one six. Let's go with a five one one six. Go on, I'll, I'll get the verse. You, you no, give no, me an answer. Stay on this verse first. Let okay, then answer. you give an answer. Okay, okay cool. It's talking about uh, what's it called? It says that uh, you said that what's it called? Uh, the Jews the, and the Christians say yeah. they are the sons of God. Yeah, exactly. Say, O Muhammad. Uh, uh, then why you, does he? Let me ask you. Is that a literal sense or a metaphor? Tell me. What do you think it is? It's a literal sense. It's not it's literal, literal sense. Yes, it is literal sense. So then, yeah, he's literally not your father no, no, exactly. because he disciplines you. Exactly. It's, it's giving an example why. But that's false logic. No, it's not because God is all Good loving. fathers God, discipline God their loving. sons. God is all loving. Yes, and all just. Says, yeah, if, if, to be loving, you have to be just. Allah to be says, loving, you have to be okay, merciful, Allah, and that does mean disciplining. Can I say something? Allah okay, says, come on then. Allah says, yeah, is that if 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 if, if mankind did not commit sins. He would destroy them all. You want to bring that up? And, 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 and create a new creation. Brother, does that not ring so alarm bells God's to you? God's mercy is contingent on mankind, so God isn't necessary. What? If, you so you're saying if mankind never sinned, God would wipe them God, out God to doesn't display need it. his God doesn't need mercy. It. God doesn't need but he wants sinful beings. Yes, so he can repent. He wants people to rebel so against him and blaspheme no. against him. He wants people to be sincere because he knows that we can't he be perfect. Yeah, but wait, and, if, and, and, if and a human, me, human being... Let me finish my point, bro. Go on then, I'll be patient. Listen, I'll be patient. He, he wants us... The reason is... He, it's not because he's dependent on us, no. God wants us to sin, yeah? It's because he knows that we're not perfect. If, if God says, yeah, if, there was, if, if mankind... Didn't, uh, didn't commit any sin, he would destroy us all and create a new creation that did commit sin. The reason is, yeah, is because... Is it necessary that he would do that? It's not necessary. It's okay, not, so it's, he, it's, does, he doesn't do that in all possible world that people... So let's say, let's say, world. okay, let's say you have possible world X in which everyone exists that doesn't That's sin. Is, I'm is about it reality, anything about no, no, that no, no. world God is always necessarily going to wipe it out and create new sinners? Yes, I believe it. God okay, says, so then you're falling into a modal collapse where you're basically just saying it's necessary... It's not necessary. Allah creates sinners. Where does it say it's necessary? You're, because you're you, because you just said you just said that in the event that he said he people, would. Okay, yeah, but I, I just asked you, in X event, in any possible world, would it be necessary that across all possible worlds God does this action? You said yes. If God if God wills it, he would do it. Okay, so if something don't matter what you think. Okay, so if something happens across all possible worlds, what is it? It's nece necessary. It's necessary if something happens across the possible worlds. Who said it's possible across all possible worlds? And what are these possible you, you worlds? We just got to the point where you admitted that. Yeah, this is called modality called and philosophy. Logic. No, but yeah. did God say, did, did yeah. say that he would do it in every, in every possible situation? I just, I just asked you. talking about us, uh, this creation. You don't know about the healing of the The issue I have with that text is that it ultimately ascribes to Allah a motive of wanting blasphemy, ultimately. Huh? I find that to be beneath God. God does not desire his creation to blaspheme. He doesn't Who want them to. Sin. 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 sin in, it's sin every sin. Listen, it's every sin, me, right? It's one. any sin. God said he will forgive every sin except shit. Except shit. So, so, uh, so, uh, partner, so that does not Okay, but, but in this hadith he says, if you did not sin, sin meaning what? Sinless. Right, so that includes blasphemy. Yes? Yes. Because blasphemy is a sin? Yeah, but that's excluded from that. Because God Why said, is it excluded? Because God said, he said that if you can forgive any sin uh, as long as you don't associate partners with it. Blasphemy isn't necessarily associating partners though. There's other forms of blasphemy. There are other forms of blasphemy. Yeah. yeah. Like if, if, I, if I say like an insult to I'm God, about, it's going to be blasphemy shit. without exactly. associating partners with exactly. it. Exactly. I know, but I'm talking about just He's blasphemy about in blasphemy. general. And I'm saying that your God therefore desires a form of blasphemy. Okay, for example, like the Shia, they curse the Sahaba. That's blasphemy. Okay, right. But Allah would never desire them to do that, right? 
What do you mean? Because this hadith is saying that if if you live sinlessly, Allah would just Allah would destroy you until you sin. Which implies he desires sin. You're leaving out the important parts on purpose. What's the important part? It says he wants us to sin so we can repent. So he does want us to sin. Yes, Brother, it, it doesn't matter if you say afterwards, well, that's really because he wants the after effect. The fact is, he wants you to sin. This is a contrast between the Christian belief and the Islamic belief. We don't think that God has this weird desire for us to sin. He doesn't like somehow be like, oh, yes, lots of sin, this is brilliant. In fact, if they didn't sin, I'd just destroy them and remake them until they do sin. God wants to save people. God, listen, the angels, Look, the, God wants to be in communion with people. Are you going to let me answer? Go on. You're, you're talking so much, you won't let me talk. Go on. Okay, listen. The angels, for example, God created them to have sin. They, they can't sin. The angels, they don't have free will. They, they, they don't have free will. Yes, the angels don't have free will. So, wait, wait, the... Um, all right. All right, you're making a new point. That's my point. Go on then. I'm not making a new point. I'm, 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 you're bringing a lot of stuff up. But all right, go on. Can I just add him to that point? Okay. okay. God, God says, yeah, okay, listen. Okay, listen. The angels, for example, they're sinless. They're not sinless. If we were sinless, yeah, we would be, we would have the ability to sin. God doesn't want that. God would, if, 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 if he was my soul, if God created us in heaven, if God created us sinless, yeah, he would have, he wants us, he wants us to be, uh, what's it called? With free will, because anyone that has sinless doesn't have free will. We know this. Because it, the pro wasn't Adam sinless before he sinned? Wasn't Adam sinless before he sinned? Yes, he was. Right, so there were people at some point who were sinless. Yes, yeah, but the difference is that we have free will. Right. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, so the difference between us here yeah, and the angels is that we're sinless. No, we're not sinless because we have free will. And, and God doesn't want us Do you remember the hadith where Moses basic, so where Adam basically sinless, says the reason why I sinned was because sinless, of the pen? You don't have free will. God right. gave us free will so we can. God gave us free will so we Let can. Let me pull up there. Okay. And we can live according to what we. Wait, wait, wait. Um, is the. Go on. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Islam, no yeah. matter what human beings will be sin. Right. Yeah. But Allah desired that human beings would sin. No, he doesn't. Where does it say that? The hadith literally says if you did not sin, we would have destroyed you until you sinned. Where does it say desire? That, that, that means. Where does it say desire? What, what do you call it? If Allah intentionally destroys people because they don't bro. sin, and so he will bring about a new people reason? who would sin, who desire reason? sin. Do you know the reason? Yeah, because he wants people to repent after. No, because he wants us to have free will. God gave us free will. If we, if we had no free will, we would be sinless. Yeah, but brother, in the Christian perspective, wait, wait. In the in the Christian in the Christian perspective, we also we also believe in. Well, I don't think as most of you believe in free will, but that's another yeah, thing. No, you believe in our color. You believe in our color. Huh? What is this? What is the sixth article of a man? Everything was written before. We accept that. Yes, but we still believe in free will. You is is Kada not the, the 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 decree of Allah that is determined from the all before all things? Yes. Okay, so you don't have free will? Yes, it is free will. How, is it, how are you free if how? Allah has already determined what you will do? Okay, listen, that's the end of that. We can't understand it. God, we... So an appeal to ignorance? That's literally what who, determinism who, is. Who are, who I mean, yeah, that is determinism. Who are, who are you to comprehend God? Huh? Who are you to comprehend God? Okay, so wait, wait, God wait, determines wait. everything then? Yes, he does. he does. Okay, so you don't have free will? Yes, you do. Yeah, okay, could could it, you have chosen otherwise? Okay, can, I, can I give you an example? Oh. If I know, for example, you're going to rob a shop. I know it, but right. I don't stop you. It doesn't mean yeah. you don't have free will. But that's, you're in your perspective, Allah makes that happen. Yeah, it's not It's not just that you know it, it's that God is Allah both knows it determines and determines it. it. Listen, I, have, I don't have the words for it. I, I, I want to explain it. Brother, the, the reason why you don't have the words for it it's, it's because you. this is wrong, I it's a falsehood. Listen, I can fathom, I can comprehend it. But you just said, who are you, you to you know the mind of God? Oh, okay, wait, 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 let, let me, wait, you, see, you, wait, wait, let, the, let me just, wait, wait, let me just, you're the same people what, watch that, this, watch you're this, the same people that believe that God Take is away. a man, <laughs> and you said that, what's it called, you said that, who are you to uh, wait, comprehend God, wait, who you're are you saying, to say that God comes out of okay. wait, wait, we say, yeah, that God determined everything, and he, he gives free will, okay, if, if you, if you want us to say why we think God is a man, we can accurately describe that without appealing to mystery, but since you've appealed to mystery now, what you've essentially done is you've opened, you have, because you've said, I cannot comprehend God, therefore you cannot apply you logical principles to him. Can you, can I'm not saying that God? I can absolutely comprehend God, but there are some things about him at which I can apprehend for okay, the you, likeness he's left okay, in so his created effects. Now, hang on, we do believe in predestination, but not in those sense that you're going to do. 
Yes, we, yes, we do believe in free will. Wait, 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 wait. Because you don't believe in free will. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. the same exact thing. You don't believe it? Yes, you do. Wait, wait, wait. Al-Qaeda, where is the sick article of a man? One minute, yeah? Because the Bible says, how can you be pure? He who that is born of women. Somebody that is born of women, how can he be pure? What's that got to do with free will? This doesn't have anything to do with the free will, bro. Yeah, we're talking about free will right now. Unless you have something on free will, then. I'm, I'm, I'm coming because the guy was saying before he said that if you Allah can forgive all sin, except you make a ship. Same like the Bible. The Bible also says if you die Spirit. against the Holy Spirit, mm. you can never be forgiven. It's blasphemy, the Holy Spirit. Yes, blasphemy. But what that is, is the sin of the Pharisees at the time who so clearly saw the works of Christ and still their hearts were hardened as to where they would deny Christ. If you die in that state of denial as to where you've seen it, then you are going to be not able to be forgiven of that sin. Which is what blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is. That's that's not like shirk or something like that. But regardless of that, we're back to the point on free will. Okay. You believe now, in the exact same thing wait, as wait, me. Wait, 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 wait. You don't he believe in free will. Let me finish my With all, with all due respect. With all due. Okay, okay. Did the ark of uh, did the ark of the covenant have images? What do you mean? When God. Okay, this is how I know that you've never read the Bible before. What do you mean? In that, so you, you, you haven't read the Bible. The Bible. You're I read, illiterate. I read. I'm not all of it, but I read some. Okay, that same. Have you read the whole Bible? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I read the Bible and the Quran. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Don't let him run, don't let him run. Before, it took me about nine, ten months to read the Bible, it took me three to four months to read the Quran. I've read okay. both. If you read the Quran, you'll be a Muslim. Wait, wait. No. So don't don't divert from the point. Don't divert from the point. Why are you laughing? You just quoted the book of Exodus. Are you aware? Don't don't run, don't run, you're talking to me. Are you aware that Okay, are you aware that in the same book that you just quoted, God commands the Israelites to build the Ark of the Covenant with images of angels on it, which actually Joshua falls before in the book of Joshua. So Graven, you, you think you think Matthew, Mark and Luke exist at the time of Moses? You, you just skipped about like a thousand years, bro. Two thousand years. Yeah, you, you skipped a long distance there. You don't know basic biblical concepts. You first need to know this before you can have a better understanding okay, to make critique it. Quran. We know the you Quran. Know I've read the Quran. Quran. No, you I've don't. read the Quran. I no, study no. the Quran to be honest with you. No, you don't. That's a lie. I do. Yes, That's I absolutely lie, do. You I absolutely been, do. You would have been a Muslim if bro, you read the Quran. Bro, do you want me to get the books out in my bag that literally are all about the Quran? Okay, I have do you want me to do that? In my, in my house. Do I read it? No. Yeah, but I can literally show you mine right now. Uh, my point is, is if you want to try and slander and say I don't know things, I can show you immediately that's false. But you said you knew the Bible, and then we asked you basic things and you didn't know it. If you read the Quran, the open hand, you'd be a Muslim. So that's how I know you. You, you what, what? what? I, what everyone was that? that's read the Quran read the is a Quran, Muslim. Everyone, everyone that's read the Quran is a Muslim. That's you read the Quran for your, for your, for your, with a sealed heart. You're not with an open heart. You so read now it, you have read the Quran. You can never find <laughs> so it. So now I have read it, yeah. So, exactly. now, so now I have read it. The only way you can know that he hasn't read the Quran is if you have access to his active mental states, which you don't. So you're unable to make that claim. But the way in which we can know that you've not read the Bible is because when you ask basic questions about it, such as, did Matthew, Mark, Luke and John exist at the time of Moses? I'm like, not, seriously? I'm not say that. You're you, you implied it by saying, we don't know if it was Matthew, Mark, Luke or John and who wrote that. I'll say it to something else. No, that's what I you... Said that that is that literally what you the said. The cameras will show, bro. Replay that, replay that clip. Replay that clip. Replay that I wasn't talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> they can do that thing where they put it in black and white. And no, why are you making it look good? Why? Okay, again, I'll you, explain. Do you, think that God, do you think that's God right there on your chain? That's this God. Is, this is Mary. You're wearing bro. God. This is the mother of God. This okay, is God. it looks this like Jesus. Mary. Okay, it looks like Jesus. But whoever. It's a, it's a woman. Whoever it's really it is, whoever Jesus. it is, I don't care. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but listen, God. do you think that's God? You need to go to Ox. Okay. <laughs> Spec yeah. Savers, then read the Bible. Okay, okay. Spec Savers, then read the Bible. So now. So, wait, wait, wait. Now, when you're talking about the book of Exodus, you're talking about the part where it says, do not make any graven images. That's because they, that when Moses just so came down from the mountain, they were worshipping a golden calf. Graven images are images which you place in place of God. No one places images of Mary said, in place of God. Of hang on, of hang on, so hang on. Wait. Now, when you read later on in the book of Exodus, God commands them to build the Ark of the Covenant with images of angels on it. So are you going to say that you're condemning the God of the Old Testament now? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm okay, corrupted. good. You don't even okay. How do you know it's corrupted? Okay, but you're, you're, okay, you know? when, when you argue it, with me, it doesn't, doesn't sign your Quran. It doesn't pass carbon date. Your Quran? It doesn't pass what? any stage of It doesn't pass carbon date. What? Carbon date? You don't know what that is? No, I know what carbon dating is. I'm just, that what on earth does that even mean? It doesn't pass carbon date. Do you mean it's not radio carbon dated to a particular century? No, or what do you mean? Yes. It's not what century? To whenever it was written. I mean, we don't have an entire, we don't have an entire. At the time of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, right? Yes, exactly. 
Listen, listen to what I'm saying to you. You're laughing, but you know it's true. Bro, bro, please. You're come on. You know come on. You, know you, need, you need to find. You know it's true. Okay, the Bible's preserved. Yes, 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 the Bible's preserved. Yes. See, the, the problem. Wait, 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 wait. The problem with your argument you swear is. To, swear on Jesus that the Bible is preserved. I swear on Jesus that the Bible is preserved. Now, You're the going problem. Hell. The problem. You're going hell, okay. The problem with. Going wait, wait, wait. Wait. The problem. You're going hell, bro. Okay. Listen to what he's saying. Listen to what he's saying. I'm going to say something to you. The problem with your argument is you're saying the Bible cannot be preserved because earliest manuscripts. Etc. are not radiocarbon dated to the exact time that they not are just wrote. That, not but just wait, that. wait, 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 wait. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished with the point. Now, if you were to go by this same logic, you would have to say that the entirety. Wait, wait, wait. I can deal with that, but we're going to deal with this first. One point at a time. So we're going to we're going to destroy this point and then we'll go to the next. Now, the problem with this point is now you have to throw out the entirety of antiquity, even the Quran itself. There isn't a complete Quran radiocarbon dated to the time of the Prophet. Yes, and the Birmingham yes, Quran is. is not a complete Quran. Yes, and okay. furthermore, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish my statement. Let me finish my statement. Wait, wait, wait. I'm Whenever still finishing there, my statement. Anything, don't be rude. On rocks, on metal, don't, be, don't be rude. I'm still finishing my statement. And if you read other works of antiquity, Aristotle, earliest manuscript like 1300 years later, Plato, uh, thousands of years later. The, po yeah, but the problem is with your point, you have to throw out the entirety of antiquity if you're using that as a point to determine if a text is preserved or not. Okay, any text which is in an the time of antiquity, talking about er times in history like the first century, the second century, times prior to that, you would have to throw out all these texts because you're saying that if it's not radiocarbon dated to the exact time in its earliest manuscript, then it's not preserved. Problem with that is there's almost, there's literally no um, work of antiquity that has this. So your lens of skepticism when applied to the rest of history rules out everything. Yeah. That's your problem. Uh, that's a very good point. Just about that, you, you think you have a Quran radio carbon dated? It's the time of Muhammad. Of course. Okay, can you name it? Bro, since the Quran was revealed over a period of 23 years, yeah? It sounds like a no. Go on. You let me answer? I'm going to let you answer, I'm just saying I think it's a no. a period of 23 years. Yep. Not a single archaeologist... Do you know what those dates are, by the way? Uh, you say over 23 years, so what, what was... Over when? When did Muhammad become a prophet? When he was 14 years old. Okay, and the, what the, year was that? Are you talking about the year? Yeah, the year. I don't know the year. But... 610. Yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. So you're talking about 610 to 632. Actually, I don't want to take a word for it. I don't believe you. But listen, really? maybe, maybe you're too. I don't but know. given that you know, you already said you don't know. I don't trust you. What, what's I the question? Yes, just know. basic stuff about I'm not to say I don't when, when did Muhammad become a prophet and when okay. did he die? Allah said, if you don't know God, you can do that. When did Muhammad become a prophet? So He's an idol worshiper. Huh? Did you just call me an idol word? 610. 610. 610. Was I right? 610. Was I right? Okay, I'm gonna oh. okay, It must be that Quranic okay, study I've been doing. Muhammad I don't believe what I'm when did Muhammad die, right? 632. Alright, let's you see. You think I would take a word of what you're saying? 8th of June, June 632. Okay. Oh man. You said 610. Maybe no, he said 610 is when he became a prophet. That's the 20, 20th. Oh. Okay, I don't know this. I, I believe. Okay, you. I, right. believe you. Okay, right. I believe. So when when does this Quran carbon date? I'm not ashamed to say that I don't know. Okay, well that's the good. I don't know. But, I don't know. But hum, I know. humble yourself to someone who has looked into this particularly. Okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. But you, listen. Okay. So not the, a single archaeologist, archaeologist in history has disputed the preservation of the Quran. Name me one person. Just, okay. You believe as a Muslim the Quran is perfectly preserved. Letter for letter, word for word, dot for dot. Archaeologists, okay, aren't scholars. Okay, yeah. Well, critical scholars of all fields have at times critiqued that because it's no, a very. Show me one. Um, give me one proof. Give you one. Okay, Dr. Robert Kerr. Okay, what Dr. Patricia Crone. Dr. Say? Michael Cook. What, 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 Dr. Fred Donner. What was he basing? I can literally just list names okay, for you. Okay, what was he basing on? What was, what, 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 from different areas. I've just I just quoted you about four or okay, five different what, scholars what that are critical in different areas, ranging from Islamic studies to uh, the let Quranic answer, manuscripts let, let to Islamic history to Arabic to Aramaic. Like you go on and on. Okay, okay, cool. Right. I, 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 I listen to you now, listen to me. Great. Every single verse in the Quran yeah, yeah. can be traced back to the time of Muhammad. Every single one. No, it can't. Yes, it can. Then why is the Qur'an in doubt? Huh? Do you know what the Qur'an is? The Qur'an. The Qur'an. There's different readings that's of just, recitations. That's, that's nothing to do with it, bro. Yes, it is. It is. How? Tell me. That's why there's disagreement. So that's why you oh have ten of them. Oh my God. You're saying that, how many, that's the reason. How many readings of your Qur'an do you have bro, in Arabic? Listen, every single Qur'an. Every single Qur'an. Every single Qur'an, because yes, there are no, Qur'ans. No, there's not. There's one Qur'an. Yes, there is. There's ten. There's ten. You're just can you can you Google okay. for me? Google uh, um, Google the ten killer arts. By Dr. Speak. Suleiman. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, okay, my friend, you Every need to know this. <laughs> the same thing. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Prove it. All right, this is the British translation of the ten killer arts of the Noble Quran. Look, look, bro. The killer. What do you mean? 
He knows. He knows. He's a wise guy. He's a Muslim. Nah, bro. I don't know. I don't know. He's a Buddhist. <laughs> it's a Buddhist. <laughs> no, because obviously yeah, it's, it's, it's a Buki area. I don't know what to believe in it. So, here's one of the variants. This is uh, so, uh, Yunus. Sir 10, IS 16. Okay, I'll ask, I'll ask okay. you. Okay, well, he'll, tell, he'll just agree with what this is. Okay. He might have an explanation no, for this, know, but, but he will so agree I'll with... I'll ask him first. Okay. No, I don't know, but I need to ask. I need to that's ask fine, him. but let me explain to you what this no, is. No, I don't want to You can then ask him, ask and him. you can... That's fine, but listen to what I'm telling you, okay? This comes from someone who is uh, a head of a Dawa Institute in Cairo in Egypt, okay. called the Bridges Foundation. Yeah, he's a Muslim. And he has a team of people who know Arabic, who translated the 10 different... Uh, the 10 different uh, canonized Qurans. Plural in Arabic. They differ. No, brother, that's not true. Did Muhammad say there was only one Quran? Did he not say the Quran was revealed in seven different Arabic? I'll pull up the hadith right now. Did Muhammad in Sahih Hadith say the Quran was revealed in seven different Arabic? Is that Quran many? Is that Quran many? Yes. Because they differ. Because they differ. We don't believe that there are multiple canonized Bibles. We don't believe that. We don't believe that. No, we don't. Yes. Okay, me, what, show, me, me, show me the many Bibles me, yes. that all come from the same... If you, if you read the King James Version... Alright, that's, that's an English translation. Version, yeah, that's an English that. translation. Alright, yeah. right, I'm I talking got, about I got, Arabic. Yeah, yeah, look, look, I got the Hadith for you here. Yeah, let's right? read the Hadith. Read the Hadith. There you go, man. Read it yeah, we'll read it. What Bible, is that, what Bible does that Bible was say? Do you want to read it out loud? Wait, me, I can't see it. Allah's messenger said, Gabriel, read, read the Quran to me in a way, in one way, one you know dialect. That, yes. And I continued asking him to read it in different ways till he read it in seven different yeah, what ways. What does mean? What does mean? What does mean? If you, it means there are seven different ways when of we, reciting the Quran. Yeah, give me two examples. Okay, what? Well, uh, give have me two examples. Well, I have some words. In Surah Fatiha, I have four. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Can you read different way? Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Can you read different way? So, in your Maliki Yom Maldin, yes, king or owner. And there are, different 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 there are different color ads that say different things. There's no difference. When you yes, say Malik and Mali, yeah. only yeah. accent. He's about you to cannot show write you, accent. He's going to show of you. Of course. And wait, the reason why. Yeah, in I red, there is a variant yeah. there. What does that say? What does he say? He say what? What does that read? That footnote? No, you read, you read. What does it say? Uh, no, you read. King, I see. I don't have my glasses. King of the day read. of recompense. Yeah. Or master. It's different. Oh. So some read it as king. Some read it as master. If I read my book, that I said, God so loved the world, he said he's a big God answer. If you read again, God so loved the world, he sent his only son. Mm. So it's not the same. Mm. We can find that, this one in Russian. That's just translation. You just translate, in You're just translate it. All right, then I, I'm going to point to you all the different translations of English, uh, of the first Quran, John in English. Verse 7, there's three mm. that appear uh -huh. because in heaven, uh -huh. you can see two. Ah. Yes, so does that refute the different. Bible? Yes. Okay, so do you know that Surah 9, so yes. Al-Tawba, Ayah 85, yes. is not in the earliest manuscript? Yeah. Which, which manuscript? The earliest manuscript, in terms of radiocarbon dating, has that missing? Do they have proof? It's missing. Where? You can just Google it. It's in the Sinai manuscript. It's in the Sinai manuscript. Yeah, but we don't have that. What do we have that? We do. <laughs> we do have it. We even have the John, manuscript. Even John chapter 11 talking of a prostitute. It's not on the original Wait, this manuscript. This is just a what about yes, This is a what about is What about is we know there are changes yes. in the Quran. We no, know. No, no yes, we absolutely do. Okay, wait, wait. Wait, 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 was Jesus speaking Greek? Which Greek? Did Jesus speak Old Testament. Arabic? Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Old Testament. Old Testament. Wait, no. 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 Old Testament is Hebrew. Wait, wait, I'm going to no, no, bury no, no. your claim. I'm going to bury your claim. New Testament, wait, wait, New wait, Testament. Wait, brother, brother. Which language is Jesus brother, was I, I have an answer to you, yeah, yeah. okay? Yeah. Firstly, Jesus was multilingual. He yeah. had to speak Greek because he spoke to Pontius Pilate in the Bible. The, 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 okay, the context the Bible, of the Bible is proof. Matthew chapter 17, Jesus spoke to Pontius Pilate. Okay? I believe the message has been properly preserved. What language did the Romans speak? What language did Rome speak? The message. But you don't what? Believe what language did Roman I don't believe the text is Republican, no. I'm, I'm asking you the you question. Can't prove it. Well, you I just have, I just have. There you are, see, not. That word not is not there in certain yes, class. Like Al Basri, who studied from Ibn Kathir, he was the student of Ibn Kathir. And speak loud. Bro, I've spoken to Arabic scholars. You have to ask for an answer, but you speak to Yeah, I actually you. So the answer is multi. See, that word not, that word not is not there. What happens if you take the word not out? 
of a sentence. Where is where, what you want? What you want? The word not. And he would not have informed you. So if I take the word not out, he and he would have informed you. Literally the opposite. How are they interchangeable? The word not can't be interchangeable. Okay, okay. I have not come to speaker's corner. I have come to speaker's corner. Am I saying the same thing? It's the same verse. It's literally the same verse in different Arabic. Bro, it's the same verse in different Arabic. And this is Dr. Fadal Salimans. We gave you we gave you a scholarly source and we showed you in real time. This argument buries the Bible because we need to go find that guy.